Welcome back to Jeeps and Things. Today I'm going to show you how to install your CB radio with only one bolt. For this install, we're going to be putting the CB radio in the passenger footwell, hugging the side of the center console. First thing you're going to need to do is to remove this plastic cover. A knife, screwdriver, anything will work fine for this. Once you've got that out, you've exposed a 10 millimeter bolt. You want to go ahead and remove that bolt. Out there on the market, there are a few different brackets you can buy to do this install. They actually use this bolt to mount the CB in place. But what I don't understand is, why not just use this bolt to mount your CB radio? So what I came up with, on your CB radios, you've got this bracket right here. So if you take it off of the radio itself, I don't see any good reason why you couldn't just mount it right there. So with this bracket removed, we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of double-sided tape to one side of the bracket, like so. And that's gonna help keep the bracket secure. On the other side, we're gonna use this little bit of hardware that you can get at any Ace hardware. This is a .60 by 10 by 35 as well as a fender washer, a lock washer, and a nylon spacer. So, start with your bolt, your lock washer, your CB bracket, your nylon spacer, your fender washer, and you run all that in to where that original bolt came out. Before you tighten this bolt up all the way and press the tape down, Make sure you add your CB radio to make sure that everything lines up properly. So mine needs to sit a little bit more vertical for this to work right. So once you're satisfied with your radio placement, you can finish tightening up the bolt. And then just press the tape. All this tape is doing is just providing a little bit of extra security that the radio is not going to move. Run your two bolts back into the CB. That's not going anywhere. Go ahead and add the mic too, just so you don't have to do that later. And that's it, your radio's installed. This might be a little bit more difficult with some larger stereos. Now I'm just gonna run all of my wires, get to uh, mount up the antenna, and we're done. For my application, I'm gonna be putting the antenna just on the side of the hood here. To do that, I need to remove this bolt first thing. I've also already gone ahead and taken the liberty of removing this cowl panel, because I'm gonna run the wires through under the windshield here. With that removed, we'll go ahead and add our antenna bracket right where that bolt came out. So I will be the first to say I'm not a big fan of this bracket I bought. It was something 22-ish dollars off of Amazon, which is why I'm not too surprised with it. But its quality is not all that great, and it was not measured very well for this Jeep. I mean, you can see just how much it moves. And I know somebody's going to be in the comments saying, well, you're putting it on upside down. Yes, that's because if I don't, it doesn't reach. So my full intent is actually to have the antenna mounted in the bed of the truck. That way it's not getting wet, uh, hit by branches and whatnot. Um, I'm having a whole rig built to mount the spare tire, a couple of gas cans, the antenna, and a uh, rear trail light. But until I have that whole thing built, we're going to live with this. Now we just install the antenna. For this kind of CB antenna I got, all you need is a half inch wrench, tighten it down. Done. We'll also need to get a different style of wire, because this is the same on both ends. And it will work, it just has a lot of low hanging fruit. So then we just worry about routing our wire. So like I mentioned, I'm gonna have it come through under the windshield here. 
being that I'm not really going to be putting the windshield down because I have the pod lights. I'm using this removal tool to pop out these fasteners so I can then lift up this seal to run the coax cable underneath it. Of course, I'm gonna have a tractor in the background. Once you've got this wire up under the seal through the windshield, you're gonna to wanna to pop this panel out. It's just very handy to have one of these trim removal tools. And it literally just pops off, it's no big deal. Just like that. Once you've got that panel off, you wanna go ahead and remove the panel for taking the doors off. Push the wire down through. Run it up and over, out of the way. Reattach the door removal panel. Reattach the trim panel. And look at that, no wires. So now that I got my wire run through, there's a problem. CB's on that side. Well, it's really not that big a deal. All you have to do is just remove the carpet right here and push the cable through right there. And to do that, I'm gonna be reusing this fancy little tool. Before you go to the other side, there's just a little bit of wire management you need to do. So this nice little square hole here that's perfect size for a zip tie. We utilize that. So there's not another free hole, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run this next zip tie all the way over the top of this bar. Angle cutters are back. Make sure not to cut these at a point. It's never fun getting stabbed by them. Now we just gotta worry about power, and we're done. So those of us that have the auxiliary switches not only have the four wires under the hood, but you also get six wires under the dash. For this, we're gonna be utilizing this red and white wire. This is a direct to battery. To ground this project, I'm actually going to use this little ground that sits on the opposite side of my whole project. So I'll loosen a nut up, well, I'll catch an eye. So now that I got that bolt loose, I'm just going to attach a fork. And then we just need to attach it down onto that nut. Now just a little bit of wire management. I'm just gonna go ahead and zip tie the black wire, the ground wire, onto the existing wire loom. So it stays up and out of the way. That way if I ever do get any kind of water down low, I don't ever have to worry about it. Radio's all installed. The coax cable runs through the cow, through the door, down the trim, goes under the pedals, through the center console, up behind the carpet, and then into the radio. Radio sits pretty flush up against the center console. Power comes from the auxiliary wires that are up under the dash and the ground that's just behind that panel there. Super easy install. It works. Just have to tune to SWR and it's good to go. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel so you can see more content like this. I'll be getting some more trail rides out soon. I'll see you in the next video.